This past week, I successfully automated the generation of stick figure illustrations, not only in large quantity, but also with consistent characters. As you can see here, I designed a stick figure with orange hands and a slightly stylized color tone. With images like these, I can easily create a YouTube channel that stands out completely from anything else out there. Even better, I can design any stick figure style I want and produce any kind of video I like incredibly fast. Many of you have asked me how to create scripts. In a previous video, I mentioned that creating scripts is easier than you think. And in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how you can do it yourself, quickly and simply. This video will also cover how to write scripts with good prompts, how to create voiceovers, and how to design stick figures you can even sell on Etsy to add another income stream alongside your YouTube content. In fact, my own Etsy shop currently generates over $3,000 per month in profit. You can sell stick figures in any niche, from minimalist, cartoon, or 3D styles, to animals, or even famous characters. At the end of this video, I'll also include a short demo video using the stick figure illustrations I created, fully automated and perfectly matched with the script. Before we dive in, I want to remind you that my community will officially open on June 1st. The one-hour course for beginners is already ready, and several other digital products like prompts and images is also available. If you join now, you'll get your first month free in the community. As always, I stand by what I promise, and I know the value of the paid content I provide. It's not hard to access, and I've seen communities with hundreds, even thousands of members with not cheap price, but what I can promise is this. If you go with me, you'll learn a lot and grow fast. All right, let's get into the first part, writing your script. It's not difficult. You just need to type a prompt like this into ChatGPT. You can pause the video here and copy it exactly. Once ChatGPT gives you the full script, you can also generate a video title with the prompt, create 10 high engagement titles that fit the script above, or you can write a short video description by typing, write a three to four sentence SEO optimized description for YouTube based on this script. And you also can generate YouTube keywords with this twist. Give me 40 high traffic keywords from YouTube and Google that match this script. Sort them from short to long with a balanced keyword length. Even create YouTube hashtags like this. Or even generate YouTube time codes with a simple prompt. Create YouTube time codes for my script. And if needed, recreate the time codes to better fit a two minute voiceover. It's super fast and super easy. Honestly, this whole process should take you under five minutes with no guru, no expensive tools, and minimal effort. As I mentioned in my video breakdown of Cyphoria and Psychotic, these channels don't have anything special in their profiles or video descriptions. So why waste your time on things that don't matter? Or worse, waste your money on a ton of useless tools. Instead, focus your time on creating special topics or titles, guiding your content to be engaging enough to hold your viewers' attention, using a right voiceover, or designing a great thumbnail. That's how to make your time truly worth it. All right, let's move on. Once you have your script, just paste it into 11 Labs to generate your voiceover. Use the Chris voice, the one I found, and the same voice used by the Wise Joe channel. And you know what? In less than two weeks, that channel has already grown to over 40,000 subscribers, an insane milestone for any YouTube creator. I hope one day I'll reach that level too. Even if it takes me six months, I'm in. Let's check out the voiceover really quick. I used to apologize for everything, for taking up space, for taking too long, for not being what others expected of me. Everywhere I went, I felt like I was a burden, a mistake, something that needed to be fixed. I felt like I owed the world an apology for simply existing. It wasn't always obvious. We now move into an even more exciting part, generating stick figure images. I started with the prompt. Generate five creative prompts for designing stick figure cartoon characters, each serving as a unique concept for character design in a stylized cartoon art style. Once ChatGPT generated the prompts, I copied one and pasted it right back in. And very quickly, I got the Time Traveler Twig stick figure. I genuinely loved this image. Honestly, I could build an entire channel around this single stick figure. All right, if you want to generate landscape style images, you'll need to use this additional prompt. Please create a landscape image. Then I copied the second prompt, pasted it into ChatGPT again, 
And boom, I had the Emotibot 3000 stick figure, another awesome character suitable for any channel. I then asked ChatGPT to generate 15 more prompts for me so I could automate the image creation process. After that, I created a JSON file, which makes it easier to plug into a Python script and use with other automation tools. I clicked to download the JSON file to my computer. Next, to generate all the images, I simply asked ChatGPT, create a Python script so I can generate all the images using the above prompts via ChatGPT API. And just like that, I had the full script I needed. ChatGPT even provided usage instructions. First, you need to save the script as generate images from prompts.pi. Then, ensure stick figure prompts.json is in the same directory. Next, you also need to have ChatGPT API and set your API key in the environment here. I've already explained how to get your API key in a previous video, and it's not free. You must pay for what you use. And finally, to run the script, just use the command Python generate images from prompts. However, let me be very clear. It's not as simple as it sounds. I can guarantee 100% that if you're not technically experienced, setting up your Python environment and running this script won't work smoothly. You'll run into errors, probably a lot of them. I had to read through ChatGPT API docs, debug, and even recode parts of the script myself to get it to run successfully. And to achieve consistent character generation automatically, I have to code a custom script from scratch to make it happen. Yes, I have 15 plus years of experience in coding. And do you need me to give you a coding course for free before you'll stop saying my videos are a waste of time or don't deliver what you're looking for? All right, now I run the script to generate all 15 prompts and I get 15 stick figure images in various styles. I'll show you everything transparently right here. As the script runs, you'll see in the logs that a new image file appears in the folder on the left with each prompt. Right now, generating images with ChatGPT isn't super fast, but the good thing is, you don't have to wait around. You can just let the script run, and it will generate all the images for you automatically. And, of course, not every image will be perfect. You'll still need to experiment with styles. In my opinion, cartoon style delivers more consistent results than 3D style. All images were generated and saved to my local folder. Now, let's take a quick full-screen look at all of them. Not bad, right? Next, I'll demo how I generated a consistent set of stick figure images based on the original script that ChatGPT created for me. I chose Time Traveler Twig as the main character for my video, and this is the result. The entire character set was generated completely automatically and consistently. In the advanced course, you'll gain tons of knowledge on how to create any script, image, or template you want. I'll also provide the scripts and step-by-step -step guidance so you can generate content successfully on your local machine. All right, finally, I took the voiceover and images, dropped them into CapCut, and very quickly, I created a fully custom stick figure video for my channel. Now, let's watch the video, and I'll see you in the next one. I used to apologize for everything, for taking up space, for taking too long, for not being what others expected of me. Everywhere I went, I felt like I was a burden, a mistake, something that needed to be fixed. I felt like I owed the world an apology for simply existing. It wasn't always obvious. Sometimes it was in the way I spoke. A quick apology after every sentence. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not bothering you. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just here. 